Last year at this time, Salesforce was under heavy pressure by a number of activist investors. Though over the course of the year, many backed down as the company substantially improved profitability and the stock shot up. I sat down with Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff last week in Davos where we talked about this. He didn't hold back at sharing his thoughts about that activist environment, AI, and much more. Have a listen. I get a lot of calls from my friends who are dealing with activists. It's an industry, activists. And activist investors are number one investors. They want to make money. They love money. Maybe activist investors make and love money more than anyone I've ever met. <laughs> so they're just money people. So I think you have to kind of get that set right away. They're not going to want to hear about all the things that you and I have talked about for decades. Stakeholder they, capitalism? No. They want to hear about capitalism, but they don't want to hear about anything Trees. else. Yeah. They only want to hear about money. And I think that's the first thing you have to kind of get your head around. And that's fine. You know, you can just say they're investors. And I think having investors is very important. And making investors money is very important. And then number two is, is that each one is very different. So each one of these personalities is totally different. You, and you know a lot, a lot of, them. of them. Yes. Like you're even calling me going, oh, let me tell you about this person. <laughs> He's so nice. And... Uh, it seemed like you, it didn't remember seem that, like, though? yes, I remember, yeah, yeah. but it didn't seem like it got heated or. No, because I actually like them all. Yeah. Actually, I have a lot of really good stories, you know, about, you know, these activists. Like one funny story is activists said to me, you know, your hair could be a little better and you, you know, you should call my hair guy. And I'm like, okay. And then another one's like, we're <laughs> Wait, talking about. It? I didn't do it yet. Okay. Do you think I should? I don't know. Does it look I bad? didn't know that was part of their playbook. I don't even no, know. But anyway, no, thank you. And then number two is like one of them was super interested in meditation. And, you know, I have taught meditation and I enjoy meditation. I actually just did a half an hour meditation before I got here. It's like, will you teach me meditation? Yeah. And I'm like, I'll teach you meditation. And so I brought them to my apartment, you know, <laughs> and I was doing a whole meditation, razzmatazz, and all that. And about 45 minutes into the meditation, the activist is very teary and crying, emotional. Seriously? And I'm like, it could be maybe a movie, really. And I think for a lot of them, you know, I, each one is different. And they all require something a little different. And that was a moment. And that was nice. And by the way, that was a beautiful moment. You know, that you can kind of go from a hostile situation where the first call is very, they all want to be tough, right? To the point where there's a tear in somebody's eye. Hey, that's what you know how I am. I, you know, I, I think dealing with somebody's heart is the most important so thing. So this if is a If we can bring story. more love yeah. to the activist community, then I'm all for it. I mean, this is the story that we needed. And oh, it's I, that's only two. Because, like, the, the story that we saw <laughs> we is like that six or eight activists. You improved margins. You boosted the stock price. Well, yeah, yeah. You right. thought some of the sure. strategy. I mean, the one you're referring yeah. to is I interviewed Jeff Smith. At oh, Star we didn't Wars. just improve margins. Our yeah. margins are up like over a thousand basis points over like a year. Like, it's crazy. Our margin improvement is phenomenal. How it's much awesome. more is there to go on that story? Well, I think that you know, there's no finish line for anybody when it comes to margins. So that's a huge opportunity. It continues to be a huge opportunity. Um, you have to, of course, you know, realize we're in one of the greatest moments of our life with AI. So if you are taking a dollar into margin, you're taking an AI, a dollar out of AI research. So you do want to have the right balance. I think those things are important. That, I, and that by the is, way, everybody understands that. that. That's part of my question, which is how you balance growth, which has been decelerating, Sure. And profitability. Sure. Which are really ramping. Well, we talk about deceleration, but our size and scale, I mean, on the absolute numbers, we're way bigger than anybody else's growth. You know, so people say, well, you know, growth is decelerating. Have you seen the numbers? We're saying that we're going to hit almost $35 billion in revenue this year, and we're the third largest software company in the world, second largest in Japan. And who else is at this size and scale in enterprise software? And I like it when smaller companies go, well, you know. We're growing a lot faster. I'm like, yeah, you know, we added your entire company onto our company this quarter. So that's, you know, growth is relative.